This winter storm traffic has been a nightmare that's been compounded by stop signs around town being knocked over by giant snow piles or cars sliding off the road and running right into them. Tonight, Local 5 on your side is finding out who's keeping an eye on those problem spots. Local 5's Bryn Carmen is in Des Moines tonight tracking those areas. It's challenging enough to drive in the slick conditions. So when a stop sign falls, it can create even more dangers for drivers. Like this one that went down on Tuesday at the corner of Southeast 5th and Broad Street in Des Moines. The man who owns the house across the street says drivers can get going pretty fast. Just uh, slow down. Derek Winnie says speed and slushy streets caused a similar scene just recently. The second time it's happened, uh, probably like a about two weeks ago. I don't know, one of the last bad storms, it's uh, about 2.30 in the morning, somebody somebody hit it and I had to come out here and help them get unburied from it. In situations like this, the city of Des Moines has a team of six people in their traffic and transportation division who go out and fix signs or put up a temporary one. If they receive call of a stop sign being down, they are to stop what they're doing and, and focus on that. Less than an hour after Local 5 on your side called the city to report the down stop sign, they came and put up a replacement. Down stop signs are very dangerous uh, conditions. Because of all the safety risks, city engineer Stephen Neighbor says the response time is under two hours. But the crews can't do it alone. They need help from the community, spotting out the problems and reporting them. If it's a stop sign that is down on a city street, uh, we ask that residents uh, call immediately uh, the city's traffic and transportation division at uh, 283 4973. And it wouldn't hurt to have more diligent neighbors like Derek who try and help the trouble spot. I guess I feel responsible for this corner kind of being taken care of, you know. But obviously, I'm not doing a very good job because I <laughs> ran over that stop sign twice. In Des Moines, Bryn Carmen, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Now, how you report a down stop sign does change if you are on private property or a state highway. It can be confusing, but Local 5 explains it all on our website.